Good day everyone, we are the researchers of the design project entitled Rice Crop Field Analysis using image teaching and machine learning. Our objectives are to help people, especially the farmers, to lessen their workload, to help them to easily monitor their farm, and crop prediction identify which part of the farm needs more attention. First, we need to set up and calibrate the drone. As you can see from the left side of the video, we use Waypoint. It allows a drone to fly on its own. It instructs the drone where to fly, at what height, the speed to fly at, and it can also be configured to hover at each waypoint. As you can see in the video, the color is not natural because we removed the IR filter. Instead, we use a dual bandpass filter to quickly calculate the NDVI of the crop. NDVI stands for Normalized Difference Vegetation Index. So for the presentation of our software application, so we will be uh, presenting the demo of our software and how to use it. So for the title of our software, uh, this is uh, the software application name, which is Rice Tech, and this is the main window. So there are three buttons. Uh, first is Teach Image, Calculate NDVI, and Predict Crop Yield. So we will be uh, providing the demo first for the Stitch Image uh, function. So here in the Stitch Image, uh, this is where our the raw images of our our drone will be uh, stitch so now I will be uh, presenting it so here uh, we have to upload a file uh, we have to select the file where the images are located so just a quick view so this is uh, where I uh, s uh, saved or store the images in the stitch folder and this is it. this is its directory this is the directory of the uh, folder so now uh, going back to the GUI so I will select that folder in the desktop so uh, the name is a uh, stitch the name of the folder stitch now I will select the folder and then uh, to start the uh, uh, the image teaching, I will click the proceed. So now it is done uh, stitching the image. So we will view the result. Uh, the, the result are located here. So here, as you can see, the JPEG named final result. So as you can see, this is uh, the stitch image of the farm. So for the calculation of NDVI, uh, I'll be selecting this button. Now uploading a file. So again, I will select this uh, folder named stitch. So, proceed. Um, it is now loading. So, it, it will be finished in a while. And we will be uh, able to view the result of the NDVI images shortly. And now, the process is done. So, uh, by viewing the, uh, the folder, here we can see, now it has the NDVI uh, images. So for for this for the raw images, which is uh, this, this is it is the NDVI Im this is the NDVI image of this image. For the last part of our software presentation, this is the predict prediction of crop yield, or our machine learning feature. So this window, um, this is where the prediction of rice crop yield 
uh, happens. So there are um, 12 inputs. So year, month, season, irrigation, municipality, province, max temp, uh, min temp, average humidity, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and total area. So for the year and month, this is the date. Uh, for the season, it is a uh, self-explanatory irrigation. Uh, the type of irrigation that was used by the farmer. Municipality. Uh, this is the municipality um, where uh, the data was conducted. The province. The max temperature, minimum temperature, uh, average humidity, and for the nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. This is the uh, fertilizer. Uh, this is the amount or the composition of the fertilizer used so and the total area so the uh, size of the farm that uh, uh, where the data was conducted so for the testing so we will select uh, the year so for example 2008 then the uh, planting start uh, the planting uh, cycle starts at uh, June so of course if it is june uh, the season is wet irrigation type gravity and it is uh, located in kabuyao laguna uh, so for the max temperature uh, the max temperature is 32 32 degrees 32.5 minimum is 25 degrees average humidity is 88 and for the nitrogen uh, let's say it's uh, 57 and there's no pho phosphorus uh, composition in the fertilizer and also zero potassium and the total area is 1.5 hectares so uh, when you proceed uh, this will be the output So this is a prediction. Uh, the crop yield pro uh, production uh, states that uh, the it is possible to uh, have a yield of six, 7,606 kilograms or equal to 152 sacks of rice. Uh, that's all for the software. Thank you.